I welcome you to the 1111 meditation. Wow, today is day, is it day 21 already? It's hard to keep up with the days these days. Boy, they all kind of run together. But yes, it is day 21 of our 40-day meditation of Light of the Soul. And uh, the Zen dogs are here with me as well. I got Johnny and Bear down beneath me. May not be able to see them today, but just know that their Zen energy is with us. And let's go ahead and begin our meditation for today. Hi Adele, yay. Okay, so take a moment and wherever you are, find a comfortable seat. I am sitting in a chair and so I'm going to, let me just back this up a little bit so you can see me better. That's about, about the best I can do right now. Okay, there we go. Technology and I have our challenges together. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get today. I'm happy to say there's sunshine today, and I'm really grateful for that. Anytime we have sunshine in the winter in Michigan is a, is a good thing for December. Really good thing. So wherever you are, find a comfortable seat. Maybe rock side to side. Find the connection between your right and left sitting bones and the balance in between. I'm going to place both of my feet on the earth since I am sitting in a chair and I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes, go ahead and go inside, palms down on the knees in a gesture of grounding. Take a deep breath in. As you inhale, inhale deeply through the nose, expanding the belly, the ribs, the chest, the lungs, the heart, reaching up through the crown of the head. Stretching the spine from the earth to the sky. And then exhale. Keep reaching up to the crown of the head and keep the length in the spine as you exhale, drawing the navel in to press the breath out. Another deep inhale. Deep exhale. yourself grounded and balanced and one more deep breath in this one goes into the heart and as you exhale send it out the heart clearing out the heart space opening it up for all good things to come opening it up to fill it up with light with our meditation today and feel yourself centered maybe bring the left palm to the heart center right palm over the top Feeling into your heart center, feeling into your essence and your truth and your heartbeat. Take another deep breath into the heart and let's connect our heartbeats and connect our heartbeats with the heartbeat of the earth. Calling in that calm earth energy, calling in the water energy of peace into our hearts as we rub the palms together at the center of the chest. We'll tune in with our mantra for world peace, Om Namo Narayanaya. Three times on three separate breaths, Om Namo Narayanaya. Calling upon Narayana, the water element, to bring us inner peace. And in turn, when all hearts are at peace within, then the world is at peace as well. Take a deep breath into the heart, pressing the palms together firmly. And exhale. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, and let's begin. Deep breath in. Om Namo Narayana. Turn the palms up on the knees in a gesture of receptivity and just repeat to yourself either silently or in your mind, 
I am open to receive. I am open to receive. I am open to receive. And be open to any messages from the universe. Be open to all the blessings. And we'll go right into our meditation on this day 21 of our 40 day practice. Just a reminder of the moves. Left palm to heart center, right palm over the top. I am, swing the hands out to the sides, the light of the soul, they cross in front of the heart. I am bountiful, swing them out and around. I'm gonna have to scoot over so I don't hit my hand on my desk. Okay, swing them all the way out and around. I am bountiful. All 10 fingers come together overhead in that globe of light, hold it over your head. I am bountiful. Turn the fingers forward, shimmer the light down. I am beautiful. Hook the thumbs, push forward. All four fingers on each hand together. I am bliss. Let the fingers fall forward and curl under. I am. Palms up. I am. Serve up that light. That's it. 11 minutes. We do this for 11 minutes. All right, going the wrong way here. Okay, here we go. Bend the elbows into the sides, palms up. Take a deep breath in, close your eyes, roll them up to the third eye point.
sweep your arms down through your aura, clearing out any last bits of negativity and just filling up your entire aura with light. Light vibrating in every cell of your body and light vibrating all around you, radiating from every pore. Feel that feeling of warmth. Feel that feeling of peace. Feel the light surrounding you. Palms come face up on the knees again in that gesture of receptivity and go back to that place of being open to receive. Pause here, take a couple deep breaths on your own and just listen for any messages from the universe. Know that you are enough, perfectly imperfect in every way. I posted something today that just said, something I was feeling, that just said, I'm doing the best that I can, and that's the best I can do. And I think right now we're all being pushed to the limits in this world, and it's a very challenging time, but if we can look at it, as a very exciting time, wow, what a wonderful adventure we are having as these spiritual beings that we are living this human experience in this time in the world when we're rapidly moving toward, you know, less than three weeks away from the winter solstice and from the 40-day completion of this practice that we've been doing together, this Light of the Soul practice on the winter solstice. I'm really seeing this portal of change and transformation that is the winter solstice, it really kind of feels like if we can just get ready, if we can just keep cultivating our light, stay in that light, stay in that high vibration of positivity, stay out of the negativity, stay out of the wormholes, stay out of the media, go inside to the peace, to the light. And if you can enter that portal of transformation on the winter solstice in this high vibration of light, I really feel like we are gonna be shot out of the other end of it like a quantum leap of human consciousness. That's just really what it feels like. It's that epic of a time in our history. Many indigenous cultures believe that on the winter solstice we're moving from the fifth sun to the sixth sun, and we do have this major conjunction of the planets Saturn and Jupiter on the day of the winter solstice. They come conjunct close to one another in Aquarius. They move from a Capricorn, from that heavier governmental structural energy that's been breaking down that we're feeling so heavily right now, and they move into Aquarius, the water bearer, the air sign, much lighter. It's a sign of freedom. It's a sign of independence. So just know that there is hope. Just know that there is light. And stay in that positive place. I'm here to support you. If you need anything, you can always reach out. Thank you so much for being here on day 21 of our practice. Tomorrow I will be back at the same time, same channel, Mary Do Yoga Facebook Live. 11, 11 a.m. Eastern. Tomorrow will be day 22 of our 40-day practice. I look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, have a great day. And we'll close our practice today with one long satnam. Bring the palms together at the heart center. Close the eyes, roll them up to the seat of your intuition, this third eye point. And we'll inhale deeply for a satnam. Satnam, I am truth. Truth is my essence. Feel your essence as you vibrate this mantra at your heart center. Deep inhale. Satnam. Satnam. Aho. And namaste. Have a great day.